1,100 meters to go. We're now talking about three minutes and 20 seconds, and these guys will be done. It has been an unbelievable weekend of racing, starting with the Aquathon, all through the age groups, the juniors, the paratriathlon, the women, and now the meat and potatoes, the final dessert. Two and a half minutes, and here we go. A thousand kilometers to go. We've been going an hour and 45 in the race, and still, we do not know who is going to take down the World Championship crown. You said Johnny at the beginning of the day, I think, and, or maybe Alistair, I think it was Johnny. Here comes Mole on the other side. Mole is going to be ho hollering for Johnny, or for, uh, for Gomez as well. So it's going to be one, at least two of the Spanish athletes. Remember at the last year's World Championships, it looked exactly like this. Gomez just sort of waited, 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 and with about 400 meters to go, he let Johnny take the, kept the lead, kept the lead, kept the lead, and then when Gomez went by with 400 meters, it was that final, this is it. I, I either win it or you pass me. So let's just see, because right now Gomez, in my mind, still looks controlled. I think they both do, and I can't call it. Brownlee has this narrow advantage. I'm going to keep Gomez in my, uh, I picked him up two hours ago. I'm not going to change now, but I just think Johnny is running harder, and Gomez is staying there, and just, just maybe has one more gear. But look at this crowd, it's, it's 10 deep. It's a classic confrontation. Awesome. The sprinter leads the stayer, but is there one more attack over the last 500 meters? Look at the rain, it is teeming down, and I think you said you'd go out for the final interviews. Johnny Brownlee, and here comes Gomez. That's the move that I thought we would see. Gomez, 400 meters to go. Johnny is not letting him get away. And remember, when Alistair went too early, Johnny came back. Well, and there, was, there was a look over the shoulder yeah. from Gomez. He thought he might have broken him. Yeah. He hasn't. Yeah. He's still there. Well, there's going to be at least one more attempt here. Johnny uh, did the same thing to his brother when Alistair thought that he had the right goods with 150 meters to go, and Johnny came through. We might see these two boys on the blue carpet bringing it right down to the final. This is unbelievable. Third on the day will, in fact, be Mario Mola. Courage of the day has to go to Alistair Brownlee, but the two best men are there. Here we go. Here's the sprint from Johnny Brownlee. And can Gomez go with him? He is making a move. You cannot believe this race. Guys on the other side of the, of the road. Athletes are stopping to cheer. Look at that. Unbelievable. Johnny Brownlee on his toes. Javier Gomez is not letting him away. This thing is not over. This is not over. Javier Gomez is not letting him get away. We're going to see one more push. Did Johnny go too early? It is going to be onto the blue carpet, and who's got the last gear? This is the greatest world championships we have ever seen. Johnny Bradley, Javier Gomez, 100 meters to go. They're side by side coming down. Yeah, look at them coming through. Gomez, Bradley, Gomez, Bradley. This could be like the Olympic Games. Unbelievable. And Gomez takes it. Unbelievable. Johnny Bradley. That was a repeat of the women's race at the Olympic Games. Unbelievable. Mario Mola will be third. I got to go down and interview these guys and have a heart attack. Absolutely unbelievable. You couldn't script it. It looked like Brownlee. And he just could not carry on with the surge in the last 20 meters or so. Not sure he might actually have uh, done, some, done a hamstring maybe right at the end. Let's hope not. But what a battle between those two. Absolutely superb. And Javier Gomez, who in many people's eyes was the outsider of the three main protagonists at the start, has taken down the race, taken down the title, and he's got a teammate on the podium with him. As Mario Mona finishes with the bronze, and he looks like he's more pleased for, for Gomez than for himself. I think Johnny's OK. How sporting is that at the end of an hour and three quarters plus of endeavour?